love twos. I'm, my birthday is February 22nd, so I'm 222. That's right. Oh, gosh, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for joining us. We're always looking for ways to explore every angle of life on this show and serve it up sunny side up. That doesn't make sense, but it does. And the bright side of today's show, herself, Miss Hello Sunshine, Reese Witherspoon is on the show. <laughs> Hi, virtual friends. Hey, by the way, does anyone have a favorite Reese Witherspoon movie? Yes! Cindy! Yes, I good morning! Legally Blonde! You love Legally Blonde? Yes, you... my favorite of all time. Is that your daughter? Yes! Hi, oh. Isa! Hi! Hi, how are you? How oh, cute! Mwah! Thank you for sharing. Mine is actually election um, with Reese Witherspoon. Hashtag Tracy Flick. Now, let's look at the bright side of the news with Drew's News. <laughs> This is Drew's news. It's Drew's news. Ah, every day our mission at Drew's news is to bring the good stories happening in the world to all of you. Again, consider me your human scrapbook for fun stories. Now, first up, check this out. I got to go to the Empire State Building and flip the switch. Woo! There it goes. And then the whole building turned yellow all night long in honor of our signature color for the show. Look at her. It's a girl. And look, they gave me this beautiful Lucite statue. I'll keep it forever. Thank you so much again. Now, let's look and see what made the papers. And surprise, it's Taco News Day. Look at that animation, I love it. Taco Plus News, hashtag Taco News Day. I'm so happily jealous from this next story. It's from O Magazine. Gail King, love her, revealed that when she was quarantining at Oprah's house, that they do Taco Tuesday. I mean, oh my God, the things we would all do to be invited to that Taco Tuesday. But for now, we can check it out in the October issue of O Magazine. Yeah. Okay. I am a huge fan of letter writing. It's a really big deal in my world. And so this next story really does it for me. Huff Post has a story about the ongoing resurgence of real snail mail pen pals. I'm talking paper, stamps, envelopes, the USPS. <laughs> Show of hands and our virtual friends who love snail mail audience, I mean crew. I love it, samesies. Letter writing is very personal for me. Um, I write postcards to my daughters all the time when they're at camp. They get each one a day with a joke on it. And look, okay, this will drive the point home. My family has stamps. Yeah. That's the Barrymores. Hi, guys. Listen, the power of a letter cannot be underestimated. And we're even going to have an upcoming segment here called Dear Drew, where you can send us a letter with your photos, a silly story, a joke, a bill, anything. And I'll read it on the show. Look, we made postcards. That's how serious I am. Also, if you want to get in this pen, cal pen pal game too, check out the worldwide snail mail pen pals. Look at these ladies. Look at all the good they're doing. These seniors are so happy to get these letters. And I found one for kids. And we're recommending the Secret Society of Letter Writers. It's a free club that encourages a kid to get into the pen pal game and receive letters. So both resources are on our website. Go check it out. <laughs> Snail mail! Yeah. All right, get ready for this next transition because this one is about the latest in innovative beauty trends. All right. Allure Magazine, by the way, hi, Michelle Lee, I love you. Okay, so we all know about face masks, right? 
Uh, what about face masks for your butt? Uh, yeah, apparently this is a thing. I mean, uh, 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 okay, right? They exfoliate and I don't know. They're, Kesha is even excited about it. And she has a video uh, to show her derriere skincare. Hashtag derriere skincare, take a look. I'm a big fan of doing that mask. And it comes with a little butt thing. It's shaped like a butt. I like butts. Okay, you know, I saw this story and I was like, come on. I'm a beauty junkie and I know all things. And this was even news to me. And I admit, at first I was like, this is just cuckoo-doodle. And then I was like, you know what, though? I'm actually going home tonight to try this. So if anyone wants to try it with me, I'm going to talk about it and report back tomorrow.